Hello, hello, friends and fans of limited edition treats everywhere. It's George, again. Uh, excuse the, please excuse the attire in this instalment. I feel, I feel like not the owner of a money laundering business of some kind run by the mafia, but maybe the son, the stepson. No, the son, biological, but uh, he's not quite there yet so that's that's the look that apparently i'm going for today um anyway moving on to the review well i gotta tell you what it is sorry it's been a while since i've done one of these i'm a little out of practice with the for with the format but um what we got i'm quite excited to try they've been sitting on a bench at my house for like a week now a week or two week and a half and I still haven't given them a try, so sealed bag. Excuse me. Um, they are the Kettle. These are Australian, Australian brand. Kettle, inspired by Bundaberg ginger beer. Uh, chips, limited edition, of course. Um, they, they would not not be. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about them on the back, shall I? Um, at Kettle. We're passionate about creating great cheese. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm really tired. Okay. At Cattle, we're passionate about creating great tasting chips. We go to great lengths to source the very best ingredients for our delicious flavor combinations. Now, what better pairing for our golden Aussie chips than with the great Australian brew, Bundaberg ginger beer. We've been inspired by the folks up north to create a seasoning like no other. Sweet, with the zesty flavour of real ginger. This deliciously crafted treat is pure magic. Cheers. There you go. All right. Well, I guess I, I have no idea how this is going to taste. I'm expecting sweet. Like, I've had some sweet chips before. I don't know if I've uploaded any, but um, at this point, I mean... Uh, and they're, they're all right. It's, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if you've ever had like potato, um, potato pancakes, something like that. They're good. I mean, potato is versatile. It's like bread. You can make it sweet or you can make it savory. And, uh, yeah, I guess this is one of the sweet ones, but I'm going to crack them open and let's see what we're dealing with. Alrighty. Mm, okay, so first impressions on the smell, it it just tastes like chips, like when you imagine normal normal chips, crisps, whatever. Um, so very salty, very oily, crispy smelling, but there is a hint of ginger. It's like super faint. If I were to ratio it, I'd say it's like 95% standard chip smell, like if you imagine original flavor, salt, you know, whatever. Um, and then 5% ginger smell. That's what I'm picking up here anyway. Uh, all right, well, I found a nice big one. So I can't really see much in the way of flavoring on it, but you know, kettle is like, kettle's sort of nice. They're not gonna do the full like, encrust it with flavoring. So it's it might be a bit subtle, but I wanna try it now and um, I'll, I'll tell you how it is. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm bleeding. Um, that's, um, yeah, that's a weird, that's a very weird flavor. <laughs> this is, I mean, I kind of always think this with the really weird flavors, like shrimp cock, well, what is it? Shrimp cocktail or... I don't know. Some of the weird Smith's flavors, I've been like, there's no way I'm finishing this. But then I do, because you eat enough of them and it kind of just turns into ch like chip, because they're savory. But I really don't know if I can finish these. This is different to anything I've tried before and not in a good way. It It's like, uh, if you've ever had ginger, if you've ever had ginger sweets, like used for, um, 
airplane sickness, like nausea, that kind of thing. It's kind of a bit hippy dippy, but they do work. Um, but they're very intensely ginger, like sweet ginger f flavored. These taste like that, but in a chip, which isn't, isn't good because <laughs> I don't know, you're in a certain mind frame when you're eating ginger sweets because you're like, oh, these are doing me good. This is gonna help me with nausea and stuff like that. But when you're trying to just chow down on a, on a crunchy snack and you're getting that taste, that's a bad time. This, these are a bad time, I'd say. Uh, I will give them, ugh, hold on. Maybe I'll try one more and see if, No. Nah. Yeah, they're definitely horrible. Okay. Um, ew. Yeah, I'm giving these like a... Like a two... Mm, 2.1 out of 10 limited edition treats. These are not good at all. The only redeeming factor they have is they're crunchy... And I do like the packaging, it's a shame. The packaging got me um, this time. And of course, limited edition, but it's nice, it's a nice bag. But they taste awful. And um, yeah, I would not recommend them to anyone who I care about or otherwise. So that's been a review. Uh, sorry for the very, very long hiatus between videos. Um, and I hope you're doing well out there. And you know, I hope you're trying better chips than this. It's, they're, not, they're not hard to find. That said, I'll probably finish the whole bag. Okay, bye, bye, bye.